Hello Virgo and welcome to your birthday bonus love, lust, or loss readings. Um, I am going to be doing little mini reads for you plus each zodiac. So it'll be Virgo plus Libra. We're going to start with Libra. Virgo plus Scorpio, Virgo plus Sagittarius, so on and so forth. And there will be timestamps down below in the description box um, or in the comments. Okay? So let's get started, Virgo. Happy birthday. All right, so we're going to get started with Virgo plus Libra. Love, lust, or loss. Virgo plus Libra. Love, lust, or loss. Virgo plus Libra. Love, lust, or loss. Virgo plus Libra. We have blinded and we have reigniting connection. So um, you assign the roles as you wish here, Virgo, but I feel like the Libra is coming back around to get things started again. Um, is there some sort of motive behind this? Are you not seeing something here? Uh, maybe they couldn't see what the connection was before, and now they can. So let's see where this is going, Virgo. Okay. Love, lust, or loss for Virgo plus Libra. Card for you, card for them, and then the outcome. Love, lust, or loss for Virgo. Plus Libra. Keep in mind the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. Love, lust. Oops. Hold on. That's way too many. Love, lust, or loss for Virgo plus Libra. Virgo plus Libra. Okay. They've been thinking about you. I feel like um, an apology is most definitely coming. So they're manifesting a new beginning here with you. Virgo, okay? Now, keep in mind that this person may have their own reasons for coming back, but I do feel like they want a new beginning here, and they're manifesting a new beginning here, and they can be possibly a little uh, manipulative with this magician card, but new beginning is what they want. They want to reignite the, the flame so the two of you are old flames they've been thinking about you um, and it's been weighing heavy on their mind i feel like they're trying to wake up they're having an epiphany moment they're seeing things they're appreciating you now that you're gone that's what i want to say um you could definitely dealing with the libra here right <laughs> it's the virgo libra read but we have justice card here so an apology here they've learned a big lesson and they may tell you that um for some of you keep in mind that this person may have be going through something financial all right uh, so keep that in mind keep that in the back of your head four of pinnacles here i feel like you're going to be very guarded with this individual so they're going to have to prove it they're going to have to work on it and they're going to have to get through your defenses here because your shield is up against your heart so you're going to be very greedy with your time attention and emotion so they're really going to have to their since their apology has to be extraordinarily sincere and um they have to create this it's it's all on them right they're the magician they're going to have to work that magic if they want you to accept this apology and accept them back into your space. So Virgo plus Libra, it's not a, a loss here. It's not really lust. It's kind of a wait and see. So I'm going to call it love because they're going a little bit crazy. You, you're definitely on their mind. Virgo plus Scorpio. Love, lust, or loss. Virgo plus Scorpio. Love, lust, or loss. 
Virgo plus Scorpio. Love, lust, or loss. Virgo plus Scorpio. Let's see. We have mixed signals and divine timing. So this, per this person is kind of running a little bit hot and cold. You don't know fully how to take this individual. So your emotions are a little bit all over the place when it comes to the Scorpio. And it's because their emotions are a little bit all over the place. So divine timing here. Let's see what happens with this. Maybe they just need some time to sort some things out. Let's see. One minute they're into it. The next minute they pull back. Oh, the Scorpios. Virgo plus Scorpio. Love, lust, or loss. Virgo plus Scorpio. Keep in mind the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. Virgo plus Scorpio. Virgo plus Scorpio. Let's see. Okay, so I just don't think you're getting what you need out of this Scorpio. This Scorpio needs to kind of transform. You're standing pretty strong here, Virgo. You're waiting for some sort of offer from this person. And I feel like they're going to come to you because I just don't feel like you're going to play their, ga their game, right? I, I want you one minute and then I'm cold the next and then I'm all into it one minute and then I'm cold the next. So they need to just um, stay in it, right? Or because you know your worth here. You're looking pretty good here, Virgo, with that nine of pentacles. I just don't feel like you wanting to deal with the nonsense of somebody not knowing exactly what they want. So I just feel like you are more than willing to walk away from the situation. Why? Because this person goes cold. This person, they get in, they get in their head too much, right? When they should be in their heart. Um, so they get in their head and then they pull back and they go cold and you're not being fulfilled. So you're going to walk away and you're going to say, you know what? Are you watching me walk away? Cause I'm walking away from you. Um, this is going to cause them to come forward. So your withdrawal of energy is going to cause them to come forward. It's just a matter of time. They have some things that they need to truly leave behind. I feel like they're grappling with a lot of past emotions. They themselves have some things that they need to truly leave behind and so that they can come towards you fully. Um, and I feel like this person's going to do that with this King of Cups energy. They're going to follow their heart towards you. Um, they have a lot of respect for you and I feel like you're showing your self-respect and you're not putting up with any kind of wishy-washy nonsense. So, Love, lust, or loss for Virgo plus Scorpio. I'm going to call it love, but they have to come to you. They're just going to have to get it together. Love, lust, or loss for Virgo plus Sagittarius. Love, lust, or loss. For Virgo plus Sagittarius, what is going on? Love, lust, or loss for Virgo plus Sagittarius. Let's see. We have flirting and a broken heart. So one of you has a, a broken heart here. We're not quite over a past situation, but this is, um, you know, a very healing energy here for you, Virgo, or maybe you're a very healing energy for the Sagittarius. So this is something new popping off here, and we've got a lot of chemistry here together, okay? Virgo plus Sagittarius. Love, lust, or loss. Virgo plus Sagittarius. Love, lust, or loss. Card for you, card for them. And then the outcome. Keep in mind the energies can be vice versa, interchangeable. If it doesn't resonate, check your moon rising Venus. 
Love, lust, or loss, Virgo plus Sagittarius. They're checking you out. There you are. This is a brand new beginning here. So this is somebody trying to extend themselves to you, trying to flirt, trying to show you that they're interested with this Page of Cups. I feel like you are the one that has been heartbroken. But this Sag is watching you and thoroughly checking you out. Sagis do that. They do. Um, so here you are in kind of in healing mode and healing a broken heart energy, right? And then the Sun card. Um, a lot of realizations, a lot of happiness here. This is a new beginning with this Sagittarius energy. And we are starting off with showing interest and checking you out and doing some flirting. So are you paying attention, Virgo? <laughs> I feel like you're going to realize what this Sagittarius is trying to do. And I think you're going to thoroughly enjoy their energy right now. It's just the beginning, um, the new beginning here between you and a, and a Sagittarius energy. So love, lust, or loss for Virgo plus Sagittarius. I'm going to call it lust. And it's a new beginning that could really go somewhere. So that's very good. Love, lust, or loss for Virgo plus Capricorn. Love, lust, or loss for Virgo plus Capricorn. Love, lust, or loss for Virgo plus Capricorn. Let's see. We have courtship and we have soul searching. So one of you is going through a transformation, right? And looking for something solid. And we have courtship here. So this Capricorn is going to treat you right. They're going to do the right things. This is somebody that is very traditional in, in the way they meet and um, take you out to dinner and open the car door or make you a meal, you know, male or female, doesn't matter. So, um, but one of you, I feel like it's you, Virgo, is kind of on some sort of transformation journey here, okay? We're trying to figure out who we are. So, let's see what's going on. Love, lust, or loss for Virgo plus Capricorn. Card for you, card for them, and then the outcome. Keep in mind the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. Love, lust, or loss for Virgo plus Capricorn. Virgo plus Capricorn. Okay. Okay, so this person is coming in to kind of take control, okay? This is somebody that may be older than you. Uh, they're very dedicated. They're very loyal. And they're coming in to kind of take charge of the situation. Uh, they're coming in to rock your world here, Virgo, this Capricorn, I feel. Um, could be a boss-type situation for you. What you're used to are players, Okay, this is what you're used to. And this is why you're on this soul searching journey because you've been messed with, you've been played with so many times. You don't know when somebody real and somebody traditional and somebody that's extraordinarily into you, you don't know how to react to that. Um, but they're coming in here to uh, change your whole perspective on everything, right? Um, this person... You may feel like, you know, oh, they've got other options, just like everybody else has other options of whatever. I feel like this person's going to emotionally confuse you because um, you're not used to being treated correctly. Okay, so this is going to change everything. So, I, Virgo, I just feel like you're used to being played. This person is not a player. This person wants to do things the correct way. Uh, the old-fashioned way, the right way, and treat you right. And I feel like this is kind of going to blow your mind. Um, the Tower card, they're here to change everything. This person is extraordin extraordinarily different from the players that you have dealt with before. 
and it's going to change your whole perspective on relationships and love and it's they're coming in to um, change your whole world Virgo so that's kind of awesome love lust or loss for Virgo plus Capricorn I'm gonna call it love you're just not going to be used to being treated right all right love lust or loss for virgo plus aquarius love lust or loss for virgo and aquarius virgo and aquarius love lust or loss love lust or loss we have soulmate and romantic gesture very nice so this Aquarius and you assign the roles as you wish it is a general reading is going to reach out there's a strong connection here a soul connection between you and this person and somebody's getting ready to make a move so let's see what kind of moves are we making Virgo plus Aquarius love lust or loss Virgo plus Aquarius what is going on card for you card for them and then the outcome keep in mind the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable so however it resonates with you new beginning watching each other right um this this person feels like <sighs> There's this connection here. They want you to take a risk on it with them. You're ready to take a risk on this person. Um, I think you may be the one that is, is going to take a leap of faith. Um, and they want you to take a leap of faith. But they're going to thoroughly check you out here. And I feel like you're going to thoroughly check them out. So they may uh, make this move. And you're going to have to take a chance on this person. They're not leaving any stone under. They're not walking away with any kind of regrets here. This person may have been disappointed with past relationships. Maybe you have been very disappointed with past relationships. Maybe this was a situation where the two of you met and couldn't get the new beginning off the ground and now it's simply time. Um, so no regrets, right? They're gonna say something, they're gonna do something. Um, and they're going to make their move. Um, this right here, okay, could be vice versa, but I feel like this person is just kind of getting their courage up and they're going to make a calculated, take a calculated risk. That's what I want to say. And you are going to be all for it. But, but, and this is a new beginning, um, but we're going to thoroughly check each other out first. You're going to thoroughly check them out and they're going to thoroughly check you out. Okay, so a lot of watching each other, but the heat is on, the soulmate connection is there, and we're going to make it happen. Love, lust, or loss for Virgo plus Aquarius, I'm going to call it love. Love, lust, or loss for Virgo plus Pisces. Love, lust, or loss for Virgo plus Pisces. Love, lust, or loss. Okay. We have enchanted and we have forgiveness. So Virgo, I feel like the Pisces, and you assign the roles as you wish, it's a general reading, but I feel like the Pisces want you to forgive them, okay? They feel like they've been put under a love spell by you with this enchanted, they can't let go, there's this obsession here when it comes to you, um, so they feel like they've just been put under your spell here. Virgo, so let's see what is going on. Virgo plus Pisces. Love, lust, or loss. 
Virgo plus Pisces. Card for you, card for them, and then the outcome. Virgo plus Pisces. Love, lust, or loss. Keep in mind the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however, it resonates with you. Virgo plus Pisces. Virgo plus Pisces. Okay, you're defensive. They can't let go. They're wanting to come back to make things right. So they're thinking about you. They're enchanted by you. They feel like they've been you they have been put under your spell. So they want to return to you. Um, obsessed with you, thinking, thinking about you, very melancholy with that six. They feel that strong um, soul energy with you. You're on defense. Um, you're standing your ground here. But they want to fight for this connection. Um, they are so tired of being without you. They cannot let you go. Ten of Wands, it's fire energy. So they're coming back to balance the scales. They're coming back to make things right. Um, they know that you put a lot of time and energy into them. And they kind of took advantage of that. And now they're going to come back and try to even things out here. Um... So, Virgo, they want your forgiveness. They can't let you go. So, love, lust, or loss for Virgo plus Pisces. Um, I'm going to call it love. You're going to have to figure out what you want to do with that. But things got to even out here. Love, lust, or loss for Virgo plus Aries. Love, lust, or loss for Virgo plus Aries. What is going on? Love, lust, or loss for Virgo plus Aries. We have magic moment, but it's complicated. Right? So there's this spark, there's this lightning, uh, there's this connection here, but could be too many people involved or an ex or something or outside interference because it is complicated, right? But we can't help but feel what we're feeling. So let's see what's going on. Love, lust, or loss, Virgo plus Aries. Love, lust, or loss, Virgo plus Aries. Card for you, card for them. The outcome, keep in mind the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. Love, lust, or loss, Virgo plus Aries. What is going on? Okay. It's hidden. It's a lot of hidden attraction here. There's a lot of waiting involved. There's this connection with you, Virgo. But it's like, there, I feel like there's too many people involved here. And that's why it's extraordinarily complicated. There's a lot of waiting. Um, are we going to put effort in? Are we going to make the, the, the proper decisions to, there's, um, to make this thing happen here. Seven of Pentacles. Is there effort going to be put in? Is it going to be more than just some sort of spontaneous magic moment? Um, seven of Pentacles, that is Earth energy. I feel like this is you. You're trying to put your emotions aside like a Queen of Swords would and start to think with your head here because you don't want to get involved with um, somebody that's already involved. Um, kind of a thing. I feel like you just simply don't want that kind of karma. There's a lot of hidden um, attraction here. There's a lot of hidden emotion here for each other, but there's outside influence and there's too many people here. So it's all hidden, hidden, hidden. And before it comes to light, before things pop off here, I feel like, Virgo, you're going to walk away from the situation. Not only because, you know, there's other people, there's other factors involved here, um, but you're not getting this person's full undivided attention because of that. And it leaves you feeling empty. It's not what you, you're looking for here. 
So I feel like you're going to walk away from the situation before things get um, too, too complicated, right? So love, lust, or loss for Virgo plus Aries. I'm going to call that a loss, right? So we don't we don't want that kind of karma right now. All right, love, lust, or loss. For Virgo plus Taurus. Love, lust, or loss. For Virgo plus Taurus. One more. Love, lust, or loss. For Virgo plus Taurus. Let's see. You deserve better and second chances. So... This Taurus does want a second chance, but I don't know. You're holding strong here. Maybe they know that you deserve better. You know that you deserve better than whatever happened here. So let's see what's going on. Will you allow this second chance? Will they step up their game here? Let's pull some tarot and find out. Virgo plus Taurus. Love, lust, or loss. Card for you, card for them, and then the outcome. Virgo plus Taurus. Love, lust, or loss. Keep in mind, energies can be vice versa, interchangeable. Virgo plus Taurus. Love, lust, or loss. They're stuck on you. They can't let go. You're, you're riding the fence on this one. Um, they got apologies here. They're going to come back and say that they've learned their lesson. It could be a very big karmic lesson. You could be a very big lesson for this person. They can't move past you. So second chances, they want one. They've got apologies here. Um, they're still surrounded by thoughts of you. They can't move away from you. They can't. They're stuck on you. They're stuck. Uh, but they know at the same time you deserve better. You know you deserve better. So you're kind of on the fence about this one. You don't know. So you're unsure. So you're, you're going back and forth in your mind about this, right? The outcome here is the moon. You've got a lot of hidden emotions here in regards to this person, and you're going to have to sort through them and decide on what you want to do here. But it's not a loss yet. Um, uh, a lot of things need to come out. Like a lot of things need to come out into the light. Because there's a lot of things still hidden here, Virgo. Just keep that in mind. Okay? A lot of things still hidden. Um, so it's going to be up to you. It's your decision. You're negotiating with yourself. I feel like there needs to be a very uh, clear and open conversation because I still feel a lot of things hidden here. A lot of deep hidden emotion, maybe some secrets. Um, love, lust, or loss for Virgo plus Taurus. It's not a loss um, unless you want it to be. I'm going to call it um, love and you decide what you want to do with that. Love, lust, or loss, Virgo plus Gemini. Love, lust, or loss, Virgo plus Gemini. Love, lust, or loss, Virgo plus Gemini. We have possessive and we have ignored. Ooh, what a combination of cards here. So, are you the possessive one? Is the Gemini the possessive one? And somebody's feeling ignored here. Um, but somebody's backing off because somebody's too controlling. Right? So, somebody needs some space here. So, let's see what's going on. Love, lust, or loss for Virgo plus Gemini. Card for you, card for them, and then the outcome. Love, lust, or loss for Virgo plus Gemini. Love, 
Love, lust, or loss for Virgo. Okay. Okay, so we need time to think. We, somebody needs space here. Somebody's being very, very resistant. Um, I just feel like, I, I'm going to say it like this, but you assign the roles as you wish. I say you, you're the one that's being kind of resistant towards this person, towards this Gemini, right? You, you do want it, but you need some space. You need time to think. So I feel like um, you're very serious here. You, you're more of the grounded energy. Um, and I feel like, you know, you're ready to, coming through this King of Pentacles energy, you're ready to kind of settle down. Um, I feel like the Gemini needs some healing, needs to find their balance here. And they are wanting to reconnect with you. But you need some space. You need some space. You need, and you feel like this Gemini needs some space to kind of calm down. That's what I want to say. There is a possibility of a reconnection here. But the Gemini needs a lot of healing. They need to gain their balance here and realize, you know, um, Virgo's not going to go anywhere. I just, we need to just chill, okay? Um, you're very serious about them. You do want them, but they're they're acting off balance right now, and they're trying to control, and they're trying to be very possessive. They may have a big jealous streak here, so we got a lot to think about. We need space, okay? We need a little bit of a timeout. Um, they want to reconnect, and I feel like you will. We just need a little bit of a breather right now. So love, lust, or loss for Virgo plus Gemini. I'm going to call it love. But we just need, we just need a minute. You need a minute. They need a minute. Love, lust, or loss for Virgo plus Cancer. Love, lust, or loss for Virgo plus Cancer. Love, lust, or loss for Virgo plus Cancer. Love, lust, or loss. Let's see. We have broken heart and separated. So this is a struggle, right? A lot of missing, um, wanting to heal. Uh, but right now there's physical and emotional distance between the two. And there's, you know, they hurt you. So let's see. What's going on? Love, lust, or loss for Virgo plus Cancer. And maybe you hurt them. You assign the roles as you wish. Love, lust, or loss for Virgo plus Cancer. Card for you, card for them, and then the outcome. Keep in mind, energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. If it doesn't re resonate, check your moon, your rising, and your Venus. Love, lust, or loss for... Virgo plus Cancer. Let's see. Okay. All right. So you're hurt. This person's going to want to get very focused on you. I feel like there was a betrayal here. I feel like this person stepped out on you. Um, again, assign the roles as you wish, but now they're going to get very, very focused on you here, Virgo. We have the Eight of Pentacles, right? So they may have been paying attention to some other little pinnacles, but now they're, they're going to get real, real focused on you. But this hurts you. Um, so you feel betrayed. Um, they went to explore some other flame here. And this hurts you, right? So they weren't thinking with their head. They were thinking with other parts of their body. Um, so Ace of Wands here, they were in pursuit. They, they, they hurt you by their actions. Um, they cheated. I want to say that. It broke your heart. You felt betrayed. And you left the situation. Now they're going to try to put focus, time, and attention in here to you. King of Cups energy. They're going to say that they've changed. They're going to say that they've grown emotionally, and maybe they have, right? But their heart belongs to you, Virgo. Just know that. Um, 
So they're coming back around to offer you um, their cup of love. It's up to you if you want to accept it. Um, I feel there was already a loss here, but I feel like they're coming back to you with love. So it's kind of, I'm going to say it's going to be up to you and what you want to do with this person. Let me pull one more card. Yeah, see, there was a tower moment here because this other person, tower, let me show you, <laughs> I was going through, tower moment here because this other person had options here and there you are, you're in, or there's the cancer, right? Sorry. Um, so let's clarify that King of Cups. They want to move forward. They want to move forward. It's up to the cancer, see. I just feel like you're kind of blocked from this person. You don't even want to deal with them. And I feel like I feel like it's too much of conflict and drama. I feel like it's a loss. Um, but love, lust, or loss for Virgo plus Cancer. I feel like it's a loss, but this person's going to try to come back around. You're going to have to decide on what you want to do with that. But I do feel like there was cheating involved in this. All right, you feel, you see what you want to do with that, okay? Love, lust, or loss, Virgo plus Leo. Love, lust, or loss, Virgo plus Leo. What is going on? Love, lust, or loss, Virgo plus Leo. Let's see. We have messages and flirting. So the Leo wants to tell you some things. Could be some flirty messages, some um, naughty texting going on with the Leo. You know how they, sometimes the Leos like to take pictures of themselves and things of that nature. So <laughs> let's see where this is going. Okay. Love, lust, or loss, Virgo plus Leo. Love, lust, or loss, Virgo plus Leo. What is going on? Love, lust, or loss, Virgo plus Leo. Love, lust, or loss, Virgo plus Leo plus Leo. Okay. Mm. So I feel like the Leo wants a victory here. The, the Leo wants to conquer the situation. The Leo's trying to take control. They, you are proving to be a challenge to them. Okay, so you're going to have to decide if you're going to let them in or not. They are trying to flirt. They are trying to show you. They are trying to text you. They are trying to message you. And you're just like, mm, okay. You're presenting as very cold with that King of Swords energy, and you're going to have to make a decision if you want to let them behind your walls. They're trying to penetrate your walls here, okay? And I feel like there's a lot of flirting messages, which could lead to even more in-depth texting, if you follow me. Um, so right now, um, this Leo is very much into you and very much lusty. So they're trying to conquer the situation and you're proving to be a challenge, which is making driving them even more crazy. So love, lust, or loss for Leo plus Virgo, that I'm going to say is lust, okay? That's a lusty one. All right. Virgo... Plus Virgo. Virgo plus Virgo. Love, lust, or loss. Virgo plus Virgo. Love, lust, or loss. Virgo plus Virgo. Love, lust, or loss. Virgo plus Virgo. We have outside influences trying to know your business and trying to get in the way of this new romance all right so let us see we got some nosy people trying to interfere with the happiness okay 
Could be an ex trying to stop this situation from taking off. Love, lust, or loss. Virgo plus Virgo. Card for you, card for them, and then the outcome. Keep in mind the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. All right. Love, lust, or loss. Virgo plus Virgo. Virgo plus Virgo. Virgo plus Virgo. Let's see. It's a new beginning. Okay, somebody's talking about their ex too much, and this is causing resistance. Somebody's stuck with an ex situation. So Ace of Swords, we're just going to have to be open and honest about um, what we're going through, what we've experienced in the past, and what we're dealing with here. Um, honesty is going to be key here. All right, because I see new beginnings, new romance. This is new, right? We want to take a risk on this. But somebody's very stuck with past energy. It could be just the thoughts of the past or thoughts of, of repeating past mistakes that's causing this stagnation and this hesitation. Um, could be somebody's talking about the X too much, but you know, and that is a definite factor. But we need to be very open and honest. So, um, it's causing resistance here. It's causing hesitation. Um, so one wants to take this leap. The other one is being messed with by thoughts of the past or the past itself. So we need to speak openly and honestly and not have any secrets here between Virgo plus Virgo, right? And I think that's going to be your best course of act action here. That's a new romance brewing, um, I think it's it'll be fine if we talk honestly to each other about everything that's going on. So love, lust, or loss. Um, I think we're at the beginning stages. I feel the very strong connection here. I do. But right now, um, and I do see a lot of a lot of deep conversations here between the two of you. Virgo plus Virgo, I'm gonna call it love. And we'll see what happens. All right, Virgo, that is your Love, Lust, or Loss bonus readings. I hope I kept everything straight. I hope you have enjoyed it. And, um, yeah. I hope um, you guys all had a great Virgo season and a great birthday. And, um, yeah, I will talk to you all very soon. You guys take very good care of yourself. And I hope you're staying happy and healthy out there. All right, take care and God bless.